Okay, hey, welcome back to my videos. This is my video catalog, second edition, second ed, uh, second product edition. Um, first one was the injector, which I'm still working on. We'll get to them. But anyway, I wanted to show these trucks. I've been uh, a little bit on a hiatus here for about two months, two and a half months. I was moving, and I'm in my new apartment right now. This is over in Pennsylvania, where uh, right across the river from Trenton, where my shop is. But I moved away from there. And I'm over here now. But anyway, uh, these are the trucks. They're all cast iron trucks. The feature is that they're cored, typically, prototypically cored in here. You got the little gussets in there. They're just beautiful trucks. I'll show some pictures of them. And I also have lobes on here, lugs on here for the brake rigging that I'm going to supply. Uh, make, make that up soon. It'll be all uh, laser cut steel. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm going to use die cast shoes or bronze shoes. Uh, I may just use bronze shoes because uh, people like those, but the die cast ones are cheaper. Look at this guy. All right. You want to be in the video? Okay. Um, that's Cinder. I don't know if you can see him in there, but anyway, that's him. All right. Now, the, 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 the other feature is that you can get several different kind of um, spring arrangements. And we have... Uh, I'll bring them closer so you can see them. We have seven spring, six or seven. The, the, I'm going to supply six half inch springs. The seventh one is up to you. I also have four or five. Four or five with one in the center there. Now that slot, I'm going to explain in a minute. And then while I got you close, this is the lid, the lids that open, as you saw, open. Okay, and here's the springs. The five-eighths by inch and a quarter, half inch by inch and a quarter. This is 62,000 wire, this one is 72,000 wire. And you can see that, you know, of course, that's nothing, just pushing on it, but if you, if you stand on that, you'll see that. And you can adjust that. But you see now, that's total, that's total um, pressure on there, and you can still lift the truck. So it really doesn't matter that much what you put on there. It'll carry the weight, no problem. All right, now we're going to talk about the bearings. The bearings, aha. Uh -huh. I am not, I repeat, I am not an advocate of ball bearings, needle bearings. First of all, you, have, you should harden the axles. Nobody does that. Second of all, dirt gets in the needle bearing, stops the needles from rolling. The next thing you know, the wheels are coming apart. The, the needles are falling out all over the track. Worse yet, case scenario, the wheel stops turning and it just literally twists the end of the axle off. Um, in order to get this flexibility, you got to make them sloppy in the hole, and then it wears and breaks the outside covering. If you want to use a, a self-aligning bearing, I have made these journal boxes slightly bigger in order to take a self-aligning ball bearing that on the drawings so it gives you the number of where to get it. You get it on your own, they're about seven bucks a piece. Whether they're worth it or not, I doubt it. I doubt it. But there's, there's these diehards you cannot convince, so let them be it. Well, this bearing, I'll bring it up close so you can see, is a bronze bearing that I make. And it's got a hole there. Well, that hole, what that does is allow it to pivot like this. All around that, all around that. And it's self-aligning. Right now, it's a half-inch ID, 500 thousandths, 0.500. I make the axles, I make the axles 0.495, which is 5 under. So now it rides on the top side. Just on the top side. A little place for grease on the bottom picks it up and brings it up over the top. They work beautiful. I've never had a problem 35 years more uh, of using them, and it just makes it life a lot simpler. When you, when you go to machine them, it's no big deal. You lay out your centers. The, 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 the castings have a center mark on them, so you, you just use that, and you center drill them, and you drill them in a drill press. You can do these on a drill press. You don't need a milling machine. You can do these on a drill press. You drill your holes. You flat bottom your holes. You get yourself a three-quarter inch drill, a, a, a flat bottom drill, and you, uh, both, and you drill them, clean out the bottom so it's square, and then you, you lay out for your side holes, you put your side holes in, you, in the center here you use a nice file and you take your time, if you don't have a mill, it's easier on a mill, when you do it on a mill, fine, but you can file them, you can literally file these trucks 
to put them together with a drill press. And that was some of the other feature of it. Now, let me show you this here. When you open, you pick this up, look at that. Uh, that's about an inch off the track, off the, off the table here. Nice, look at that. All four of them. Perfect. That's a nice feature of them. They roll freely, never have a problem. You got the the um, the bolster pads here. And at one point in time, I had T-bolsters. I may make those again. Because that what that gives you is the exact height for my trucks to the coupler. And it also gives you a thing where you can just bolt it to the, to the bottom of the car. And you're good to go. You can literally use a piece of plywood. Here it comes again. You're going to come on here? Come on, jump. Boom. There he is. You've got to get into everything, this guy. All right, lay down now. Lay down. Lay down right in front of my job here. Come on, Senator. Come on. Right in front of everything. All right. Now I'm going to give you the pricing while he's there blocking the view. There's several different ways you can buy these trucks. I'm not doing any machining on them. I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to uh, offer them ready to run. I just don't have the time. I'm uh, making some prototypes now for some people, but um, if for the most part, you're on your own with that. Um, you get the four side frames, two bolsters, iron, cast iron, the lids, the spring pads, the springs of your choice, the six or seven, whatever, and the Zerk fittings, the hardware, that version there is $225. If you want the wheels, it's an additional $96 for a set of eight. And if you want my special bearings, it's an additional $30. Now, all of this gets shipped uh, via uh, pure priority flat rate. Uh, and I get, I think it's $18.85 now. That's, of course, you know, that's on the post office. But that's the cheapest way anywhere in the United States, including Hawaii and Alaska, I find out. But in the rest of the country, I will, the rest of the world, I will do it, but I really don't like to do it. it the, the prices are, like, really prohibitive to send them elsewhere, like into Europe or Australia and stuff like that. The small stuff is one thing. I mean, I send a... Uh, some starter valves out and so on. It costs like $35 to send one starter valve, but it only costs about 7 bucks here. So, okay, you going to play with this now? Hey, what are you going to do? Cinder, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? You going to bite me now? You going to bite me? All right, anyway, that's Cinder. Look at him. Big male cap, all black. He's my lucky charm, boy. Okay, well, that's it about the trucks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, this is like a new product. By the way, I should mention that I'm going to make Andrew's side frame, same bolster. I'm going to make roller bearing, same bolster. Different spring arrangements. Brake rigging is going to be uh, laser cut. And I'm also going to make one more truck, a caboose truck that has a swing bolster on it. It's going to be mounted to the side with leaf springs on here. It's going to be beautiful. Okay, so that's it for now. I want to thank all, all my fans out there for watching my videos. I haven't done any in a while. Uh, with my new kitchen over here, I'm going to start doing some cooking videos. I made one last night. I might put it up eventually. That's kind of long. It turned out to be 47 minutes long. But anyway, thanks for watching all my videos. Thanks for being uh, great customers, all my fans and customers out there. I appreciate all of you. And uh, subscribe to my videos. That helps quite a bit. And we'll see you again on the next video. And thanks for watching.